Alrighty, so I've been hiking here for about 10 minutes or so. I passed the waterfall that's a prominent feature at this hike. And I got myself a little garter snake. So this is a juvenile Eastern garter snake. I actually think this one was probably hatched out earlier in this year, judging by the size, because still, when it's like this length, I can't ever tell if it's boy or girl, but I'm gonna guess this is a boy because it does have, it doesn't have a really long tail, but it does have a long-ish tail. But I am gonna guess that judging by the size, because I have seen garter snakes much larger than this, that this is this year's hatchling and if not this year then definitely last year definitely less than two years old i would say must draw me a little something wiping it off but yeah pretty little eastern jarter snake they are starting to become more common this time of year they're common early in the season and late in the season i find but yeah so pretty little jarter snake get some pictures of it and then let it go. Alrighty, so just gonna let this little one go. Feel safe and secure in that little spot. And I'm not gonna stress it out too much. Alrighty, continue on this hike, see what else we find. Now this is one of the most adorable little finds I found. Doctor, stay here. This is a baby five line skin. And he, Doctor, come here. This guy was definitely hatched this year, probably less than a month ago. Because look at his size. He is smaller than my thumbnail. And he's absolutely adorable. This is by far the smallest stink I've ever caught. But yeah, so this is a juvenile five-line stink. And they're a really cool species. They change color as they age, so the males will lose all both of the males and females will lose the stripes and the neon blue tail and the males would get a bright or a dark orangey red head, while the females turn more of an olive brown color. But I'll let this little guy go back on his way. Bye. Okay, I don't know how well this is seen, but you see that little black like thing sticking out of the grass? That is a black racer. And he is periscoping, which is something that really only racers do. They'll stick their heads up out of the tall grass and look around for food. Sorry, it's really hard to look at him and try and get on the camera. But I am going to attempt to catch him. So I'm not going to record that because racers are very quick and it would be very embarrassing. But you did see this black racer and now I'm going to try and catch him. Okay, so we leave it. He got away into these bushes, but here this is probably his snake shed he probably just recently shed and this is his so he probably uses this area a lot but he's somewhere in these bushes and i don't think i'm gonna be able to get him out of there but let's see if we can find any more snakes so here's something you probably want to inspect in jersey a cactus this is prickly pear and they are actually the a cactus species found in New Jersey. These are the only New Jersey cactus species and they are quite cool. These guys can handle very cold temperatures. They can handle snow. They can handle all of that. So they do perfectly fine up here in New Jersey. And they're often actually found up high on mountains, which is where I am right now. So this spot is actually a very popular, well, not very popular hiking spot because not many people come, but the ones who do know this as Cactus Ledge. Okay. Good job laying down. But yeah, so these guys, they will get fruit some of the times. These have already been past their fruiting season, I'm going to assume. And because it is getting towards the end of summer. But yeah, just stay there. You don't need to keep moving. We're not going anywhere. But these guys also normally don't actually have spikes, and if they do, they're only small bits. So they're not that bad to touch, which is why I was touching them. So this is something very cute. This is a baby toad. Now I have zero clue where he came from because there really is no water around here. This guy is definitely in his first year, but yeah, he's up here in the cactus patches. So this 
is actually how the fruit looks like, that ready thing. So that's where the seeds are. And this is an even bigger patch. Some of it's even growing on that tree. So now they do have little spikes. Some of them, not all of them have spikes, but some of them do. So I got a few of those in my hand, <laughs> but that's fine. Here's another little patch of the cactus. They really do like these higher mountains. And here is a very healthy patch. But yeah, here's another patch, another patch, another patch. I just really, especially like this, that spot over there, even though there are a few more coming out here. But once I get more into this part of the forest is when the cactuses start to disappear. So I don't know how, I know you can see this pretty well. You see that there? That is a snapping turtle. That is a common snapping turtle. Let me get a little bit lower. Stay here, pup. Let me actually get to a point where I don't move too much. Yeah, there we go. This is a common snapping turtle. Now he's noticed I'm here, but he was probably just up there. Get a breath of air. They're not the best swimmers. They're pretty good though. But now that he thinks he's been spotted, he went back into the depth. But yeah, common snapping turtle. I haven't caught one of those guys in a bit but haven't been swimming like that in a bit. And there's also what appears to be either a large green frog or a bullfrog right there. But yeah, cool find.